hard thumb Not from being nervous sometimes I'm thinking God made me special here on purpose So all the while till I'm gone Make my words important so if I slip away Hey everybody, this is Adam here, and um, this is how you build a Durso sandpipe. It is, oh, here's my dog. Say hello, Noel. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, this is a Durso sandpipe. What it does is it completely silences your overflow box unit and because with its, like, gurgling sound, I'm sure you guys have heard it if you have one. Um, it's because the water surrounding it and the air going in it kind of make the gurgling sound. And, um, this is how you fix it. So, it's really cheap to do. And mine was one inch PVC. So what you're going to need is about one foot of PVC, but you're only going to need a few inches of that one foot. But most stores, that's the minimum you can buy. Um, so it's... That's what you need the one foot PVC for. Then you get a one one inch uh, T fitting, and then a um, just an end cap, a one inch end cap. So you um, slice off a really small bit of um, the PVC pipe for the tubing, and you connect the you know this one and this one. And if you don't have a, um, the overflow box doesn't have a pipe going up already, you're going to need to also get about, I, I'd say about five inches. It depends for each, um, some, or overflow box, but about, um, you know, five inches of pipe, and, um, that will go, that will go right here. So basically what you're trying to build is this. Now, and the water comes in through there and down through there and then the air escapes through this little hole. Um, really, really easy to make, obviously. Yeah. So um, one thing that I didn't add because I couldn't fit it was a 90 degree angle right here. There should be a 90 here. But unfortunately, my thump or my overflow box is too small for that. And, um, yeah, so I had to make do with what I had. And, um, I just, I, I used it like this. And my thumb's completely silent, so there's not really a need for it for me, personally. Um, you might have different results, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, so really all you have to do is drill a hole in the end cap, um, some people fit PVC, or uh, not PVC, uh, vinyl tubing. They put a vinyl tubing here and then an air control. But because there's still air coming in the thing, it won't clog or anything, and the siphon will stay. Um, yeah, I mean, it won't lose siphon, and there's no air intake whatsoever. So here it is. Um, I'll put it on my sump. Maybe, or my overflow box, maybe you guys can hear this already. Man, hopefully you guys can hear that. So, this is how you put it on. That is the pipe going in there. Silent. Yeah, so, um, thanks for watching, guys. That's how you build it. Any questions, just message me or leave a comment below. Um, yeah, thanks again. Bye.